Okay, here we're going to look at an example of an application of second order differential equations for a spring system. So let's look at our setup. We have a 10 kilogram mass attached to a spring with a spring constant of 180 newtons per meters. The mass is given an initial velocity of 2 meters per second upwards um, with an external force of 3 times cosine t. The resistance due to the damping is 110 y prime newtons. So we derived the general formula for a, a differential equation of a spring system and we saw that the damping term was always connected to this first derivative, so I've just put it there. Um, great, so let's recall that the general form of this differential equation is given as follows. So m y double prime plus c y prime plus k y equals f of t, where we have the parts here. So m is the mass of the object, c is related to the damping, and then k is the spring constant, And finally, F is some external force. So we have all of these parts in this problem. Great. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and write down the differential equation and then get to solving it. So that means we have 10Y double prime plus... 110y prime. Now you might think that we need a negative 110 here, but um, this negative sign is kind of built into the C. So uh, this is supposed to be resisting, so it's slowing down the spring. Now if it were speeding up the spring, then uh, it would be negative 110, but here this is slowing down the spring. Um, but speeding up the spring doesn't really make sense like in the real world. That would all happen in the external force. Great. And then plus 180 times y equals 3 cosine t. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and divide by 10 because it looks like we can do that pretty nicely. And we get y prime plus 11, sorry, y double prime plus 11y plus 18 y equals 3 over 10 cosine t. So now we want to solve this differential equation. So uh, we did a bunch of examples like this uh, using the method of undetermined coefficients. So I'll just sketch the solution from here, um, but you can revisit those videos if you need to in order to find those solutions. So what we would do is we would look at the corresponding homogeneous solution and so that's given by y double prime plus 11y prime plus 18y equals 0. We would look at its polynomial. So that would be u squared plus 11u plus 18, which factors like u plus 9, u plus 2. So we see that that has roots, u equals negative 9 and u equals negative 2, which tells us that we have a solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation given by c1 e to the minus 2t plus c2 e to the minus 9t. Great. And then finally... We take a guess of a particular solution to be A cosine t plus B sine t. We take the first derivative of that guess. We take the second derivative of that guess. We plug that in to the differential equation, and that will give us a bunch of equations that we can use to solve for A and B. And I'll just jump towards the end. In the end, after applying the initial condition, which I should say what that is, so our initial condition is um, y of 0 is equal to 0, and y prime of 0 is equal to 2. Great. So, look, it's given a 2 meters per second um, initial velocity, and that's from the equilibrium position.
So, given these parts, this homogeneous part of the differential or of the solution, that particular part of the solution, we can solve for all of the constants and we get the following. Y equals negative 16, 13 over 5, 7, 4, 0, and that will be E to the minus 9T. Okay, good. And then plus... 47 over 175, and that'll be e to the minus 2t. So that's our exponential parts, and then we have plus 51 over 4100 uh, cosine t, and then finally plus 33 over 4100 sine t. And that is the final answer.